now that we've looked at how to create the distribution and how to calculate the mean or expected value of a probability distribution, let's look at how we calculate the standard deviation. So the standard deviation of a discrete probability distribution of a discrete random variable is the same idea as a standard deviation before. It's telling you how spread out your data is. So the formula when you have a discrete probability distribution for the standard deviation is to take the square root of the sum of each x value minus the, me the mean squared times the probability of that x value. So it's a little more complicated, just like it was previously, finding the standard deviation was a little more complicated than finding the mean, but it's still very doable. And it's actually a little bit easier when you have a probability distribution. So we're gonna to return to the example where we're looking at James's ice cream cart and he knows the probability of selling X number of vanilla cones and then the, the probability of that, I already said that. So let's find the standard deviation for the number of cones James sells. So let's look at what is the spread of the cones that James is selling in a given day. So I'm going to set this up as a table so the first row of my table, I'm going to put the x values. The second row of my table, I'm going to put the probabilities. I'm going to put the mean in the third column. These are columns, not rows. Then I'm going to do the mean minus, nope, other way, x minus the mean. And I'm going to go ahead and square that all in one step. And then we're going to do the deviation, which is this column, times the probability in this last column. So five columns, and then we'll sum the last column at the end and take the square root. So first thing I want to do is I want to list out all of the x values. And mainly I'm doing this right now just so that I can see everything in this table. So we have 120 all the way down to 190. And then the probabilities from the table as well. Now I'm gonna list the mean so every value in this column should be the same. So in the previous video, we found a mean of 158.6, correct? Let me just go back and find that. I've got it in here somewhere. Yes, 158.6. So I'm just gonna write 158.6 going all the way down so that I can see it for the next piece. All right, so the first column, I just relisted out the x values from the table. Second column, listed out the probabilities from the table. Third column, listed down the mean that I had found previously. So now the fourth column, I'm going to take the x value minus the mean, and I'm going to square it. So 120 minus 158.6 squared is a big number. I need to move this column over. This is going to be 1489.96. So now the second one, 130 minus 158.6 squared. is 817.96. 140 minus 158.6 squared 
is 345.96, 150 minus 158.6 squared, 73.96, 160 minus 158.6 squared, 1.96 170 158.6 squared 129.96 We're almost done Oh man, oh man, oh man. Sorry, my cat was walking on my iPad. Okay, uh, 180 minus 158.6 squared is 457.96. And finally, 190 minus 158.6 squared is 985.96. But now I have one more column that I had to erase, and that's to take the deviations, which is what I just found, and multiply them by the probability for that x value. So for this last column, I'm going to take the 148.96 times 0 0.071 and when I do that I get 105.78716 the more decimals you can keep while you do this the more accurate your answer is going to be at the end so then I'm going to take this 817.96 times 0 0.071 because that was the probability for 130 and that is 58.07516 now 345.96 times 0 0.143 that's the probability for 140 49.47228 73.96 times 0 0.143 10.57628 1.96 times 0.215 My table's a little crooked, is 0 0.4214, 129.96 times 0 0.071, 9 9.22716, 457.96, times 0 0.143 I'm running out of room again 65.48828 and finally 985.96 times 0 0.143 nope that's wrong hang on okay is 140.99228. So now, I have taken each x minus 
the mean squared and multiplied it by its probability. So I want to add the result of this last column, which I'm going to keep it in green. So I'm going to sum the deviation times P of X column. So that was 105.78716 plus 58.07516 plus 49.47228 plus all the way till I get to 140.99228. So let's go ahead and find this sum real quick. And if I were smarter, I would have had this done before, but I didn't. So I have that sum done. So when you add all of those together, you should get 440.04. So now there's one more step for the standard deviation. And that is to take the square root of the sum that we just found. So the square root of 440.04 is 20.9771. So James is selling an average of 158.6 vanilla cones a day, but he has a standard deviation of almost 21 cones. So again, he needs to kind of think about, okay, how many cones will I sell in a given day using the mean and the standard deviation? And if this were roughly bell-shaped, he could use the empirical rule and kind of use that as a guide. I can't be certain that this is bell-shaped, however. But that is how you are going to go about finding the standard deviation of a discrete